Hey folks, welcome back to the shop. Um, on the docket today, we've got this, uh, I think it's an 09, 07, whatever, BMW X5. Um, this, this X5 is equipped with the uh, N52 3 liter inline six. And what we're gonna do on it today, and I'll, I'll bring the camera in here real quick, is replace the cylinder head outflow um, cooling line. And the reason we're gonna replace it see the line right here we're replacing this line and that fitting the, the factory fitting is a, a nylon polymer plastic um, and what happens is when the when not if when the old filter housing adapter leaks oil and you can see this has had some oil leakage on it it leaks down onto this fitting and degrades the fitting and then blows this line off um, all N52 engines are equipped with this way. So this is an outflow from the cylinder head and it goes all the way down and then goes into the input, uh, one of the input lines for the electric water pump. So we get uh, a replacement billet aluminum fitting from ECS tuning and I'll put a link in the description. Uh, this comes as a kit, so it's the fitting and a new uh, custom molded silicone line uh, specific to whichever motor or, or install. I think they're pretty much all the same, but there may be some routing differences between whether it's in an X5 or a 3 Series or 5 Series. So we get the kits from ECS Tuning. Um, so that's what we're doing today. It's a really simple repair uh, as far as the mechanics of what you have to do. The hard part is... Um, and usually I do this whenever I do cooling system work on one of these engines. If I'm doing cooling system work on an N52, we're going to replace all the hoses while we're at it. In the case of this car, in the case of this car, we were doing a radiator because it had developed a, a pinhole leak in it. So anytime I do cooling system work on a BMW, every hose gets replaced. Upper radiator, lower radiator, all the overflow hoses. And on an N52, I do this as well. Uh, so I'm going to set the camera up on a tripod and uh, James and I here are going to get to work. Or better yet, I'll just hold the camera and James will get to work. So we've already disconnected the... Uh, righty tighty lefty loosey. We've already disconnected the hose from the water pump side um, just because it's difficult. It's, in the X series it's real difficult to get to. Um, the upper side is just two 10 millimeter bolts. So we're going to remove those bolts and not lose them. Grab it. There should be rubber O-ring inside, internal to it. So you're gonna have to wiggle it to pull it out. Yep. Okay, stop. Yes. Disconnect this. I don't remember how it goes. Yep. There it is. So. Get the screwdriver, small one. Stick the screwdriver underneath there. Give it a twist, thank you. Plastic shear? Yes, it did. Yep, and that's why we replace it. So the plastic shear, so this one was about to break anyway. So we'll dig a tool in there and pull that out. I'm going to pause the video real quick. I'm going to pull the rest of the line out. Okay, okay. so we've gotten the hose out of the way. Um, I've got to get a pick tool in here and dig that out. I'll see if I can get it with a screwdriver. You can see what's left of that fitting is still stuck in there. So it just separated, pulling it apart. So, and it's just the heat 
It's a nylon polymer plastic and through all the heat cycles it degrades and gets really weak. That's why we replace these with the billet aluminum. So it's nice and clean in there. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of just a little bit of antifreeze, lubricate that O-ring with. And it pops right in. so we don't forget okay so we got that in custom silicone hose from ECS tuning like I said I'll put a link in the description to these parts that we use and once again this is only something you have to do on the N52 engine the non turbocharged engine the N54 and N55 have a different way of routing the cooling back out of the cylinder head so only the N52 uses this hose assembly Just like that. So we'll get it on there. And how do we want to do this? Let's do it like this. So we're routing just like that. So we'll go ahead and get this side attached and then we'll uh, reach down underneath the car and get the other end attached to the uh, input on the water pump and we'll be done with this then it's just a matter of putting the rest of the cooling system together which y'all don't need to see this job can be done with all the stuff in the way uh, at a minimum you got to remove the radiator fan assembly because it is would be in the way um, but the radiator and some of the rest of the hoses can be in and it'd be fine um, but the fan assembly definitely has to be out of the way to be able to get in here and work. And I've always, I set my clamps up so that I can always get to them. So later on when we come in and pressure test the, the cooling system, if I've got a little bit of seepage, I can still get in here with the rest of the hoses installed and get on that clamp. But I can tell you right now, silicone hose with a double bubble on it, that is good. So, now we got to get to the bottom side. Uh, hose are out there, hose are out there. And these little um, hose ties will no longer work because this silicone hose is a larger external diameter. So you just kind of toss them out of the way. Um, and what we'll do is take a zip tie around this clamp and hold the hose there. Da, 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 da. And we're gonna go up. Uh, what size is this one? It's not a six. I believe it's an eight. This is a seven. Although I can get it set up for back going up. So to get to the clamp on the water pump, we've got to come from the from uh, the bottom of the vehicle. And we'll show you where exactly it goes.
Okay, so I can just see it. Can you see it? You see my hand? I can, uh, yes. Okay. Sort of. So, um, here, come over here. You can see right through there. Can you see through there? Come over here. See that? Mm -hmm. Hi, y'all see that input from the water pump thermostat area? So I'll get a clamp around it, we'll slip that hose on, and I'll set the clamp up so that I'm coming from outside the wheel well with a large screwdriver to get to it. We'll tighten that down. And we'll be done with this. Camera back to me. Hi, right. that's all there is to it. Um, We'll get this wrapped up, buttoned up, um, and bleed the cooling system out and be done with it. I just wanted to show y'all that cooling system upgrade. Uh, once again, we get those parts from AC ACS Tuning. It's applicable to only the N52 engine, um, and it is the cylinder head outflow into the water pump hose. That original fitting, as you saw, broke apart because it's a polymer plastic. We we'll replaced it with a piece of billet and a custom silicone hose. I'll put the links in the description. Uh, if you like this content, go ahead and like, hit subscribe, hit that bell icon for future notification, and as always, there's more to follow.